And we begin tonight with the latest on that powerful storm, the hurricane hitting Florida. This is a live look at the winds just tearing through Fort Myers at the moment. Hurricane Milton making landfall uh, less than two hours ago. Now, Chief Meteorologist Veronica Johnson's been tracking that storm all night long. It'll spend about 12 hours on land, Scott, crossing the state. But look at how big the flood emergency is down uh, 275 way up around uh, Tampa area. Oh, you're looking live at Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida. The iconic slanted dome over the baseball stadium completely torn up by the devastating winds and rains from Milton. I want to draw your attention to Sarasota where there were power transformers exploding off in the distance over there. Storm surge flooding areas such as this parking garage in Port Charlotte just south of Sarasota. And now, like the authorities, Weaver remains concerned for those further south who did not or could not evacuate. We start with our team coverage tracking Hurricane Milton as it makes its way across Florida after making landfall nearly nine hours ago. I'm Adriana Hopkins. And I'm Adam Longo. Our John Gonzalez is covering hurricane relief efforts. Lindsay Mastis is at the alert desk keeping an eye on storm damage that she is seeing. And senior meteorologist Brian Vandegraaff tracking Milton along with first alert meteorologist Eileen Whalen, who's keeping an eye on our local forecast. Brian, to you first, just how far through Florida has this storm gone so far? Oh man, it's already exiting almost off the East Coast right now as we speak. I mean, it was a very fast mover. We're talking 10, 11, 12 inches of rain that have fallen in just the last 24 hours. Crews already in action trying to respond to some of these areas that are causing hazards. And then this is something that is getting a lot of attention right now. The roof on Tropicana Field just destroyed. The hurricane right help from our area continues to make its way south. The Red Cross is assisting with long term recovery for those impacted by Helene and Milton. John Gonzalez is live at their Gaithersburg facility where two special vehicles will support hurricane relief operations and John this is something they've never done before isn't that something never done before that really gives you an indication and here they go they are on the move there are 300 plus people there uh, staff is sleeping in beds along with with the residents and while we're talking, there was a tornado warning. The weather has already started to deteriorate. President Biden is again blasting former President Trump for repeating false claims about recovery efforts. President Biden called Trump's comments un-American. It's harmful to those who most need the help. 